big shout out to all you donators who were trying to help us get to South Africa. We appreciate you so much. What I like about Kevin, he always hires people that are the best at what they do. And they look okay. their role. Always wearing his native <laughs> Hey, Kev, this, do you want to talk to this guy? No, I'm actually busy. Filming. Well, not now. No, just... he doesn't want to talk to him because that's what your job is. And, and I'll, like at some point, at some point, at some way. I, li I like your garb. <laughs> This is, I mean, it's a little revealing. If when, <laughs> You're when, right. When, when yeah, he's I normally do. naked. I do. It's yeah. A, we don't have a dress code up here. Naked's yeah. fine. Is naked. It? Yeah. Well, good to know. <laughs> they were going to play with the most insane little frog. This is actually a budget frog. And this is an Edo, Edosaurus Rex. It's a little cute face. If you actually do it nice and cute, it doesn't freak out. But do you know that a bite from this little guy? No bueno. Hold on. Look at that. It's a, it's, oh, it's a, it's a Muppet. Hold Dude, on. It's legit a Muppet. It's... Every time I see these there, they're screaming. I know, so I mean, we've, thing is we've socialized this guy. So, so we made, yeah, we made friends with him. Well, you broke him. Everybody yeah. wants to see him scream. Maximus. Maximus is Yeah, he's, he maxes out everything that he can stick in his mouth. He, dude, he just eats, eats, but he's actually quite sweet. He eats everything. He's eating a lot of fish right now, but he eats a lot of defrosted rodents. Hmm. And uh, this is the kind of animal that he's going to stuff as much stuff into his mouth as possible. Oh, I am so cute. Now, what's in his mouth that you're so afraid of? Uh, so the back of his mouth, back of his mouth, he's got these... Uh, nasty down uh straight down teeth and those teeth so this guy's going to eat other frogs and fish and stuff like that but he'll be able to capture and hold its prey with these teeth but also what the teeth do is they deflate oh look at that oh he's calling oh. yeah yeah help me he's a monster <laughs> there you go. That's so cute. Help me! Yeah, look at that. So we know Maximus is a boy. He's a male, and he's telling me, hey, don't try to amplex me, so don't jump on me and try to breed me, and I'm telling you I'm a boy just by doing that. And they're cute. Maximus has some teeth in the back of his mouth that will, if he's eating another frog that inflates itself full of air, uh, it's going to help deflate it. It's also like actually going to hang on to its meal or whatever it's trying to eat. Because they'll pretty much, we call him Maximus because he stuffs the maximum amount of things into his mouth and tries to eat it. It's someone's birthday and I'm going to show you whose birthday it is because I love this. This is what it's all about when you're a snake breeder. Oh. Do we snakes? That's what it's all about. snakes. Mm. Mm. This is before they go, oh, Kevin, gross. That's okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. So let's see. Hi, guys. Look at that. What do we got here, Kevin? These are baby pied reticulated pythons. Piebald. Let's see, you see that. Is this like making them all purple or are they kind of have a purple? They here? are kind of pink right now okay. because, yeah, so you have to get that one done. Oh, sh show you a couple really cool ones. They yeah, look the same to me. You see difference in there? Oh, I do. This is definitely not the atypical. So get the white nose, you get predominantly, you know, a lot of white and stuff like that. That's so cool. Did you know that a Jack Russell Terrier, a little breed of dog, is actually a piebald dog? And that's pretty much the condition. So it's piebald. That you notice a lot of times they have the white body and they'll have like you know brown heads very classic and you get let's say like this one this one's kind of unusual because you look at the head so right here look at do you see the head mm -hmm. very very unique such a spectacular thing. look at that it just looks crazy hi buddy 
and we immediately start socializing these animals. So when we talk about socialization, this is uh, getting the animal to acclimate to an interaction with people, yourself, and then teaching the animal that it can trust you. So I just, uh, watching the tongue flicking and all that, so it's, it's great. Okay, so piebald retics are notorious to be kind of jerky. And uh, from my original one that I started with, very jerky. She's still, you know, pretty jerky, but she's like 17 foot long. So when I work with them like this, when they're little, I am definitely going to line it up so they're going to be better pets because obviously we're keeping these as pets. And we don't want to want to get them uh, biting us. It's very stressful to the snake. It's stressful to us. So you work with them right from the beginning. You acclimate them and uh, you can end up with a nice, sweet little snake. Oh, you're alive. Look at that. Oh. You're surprised that it's alive? Yeah, that egg. It hadn't slit. Point, a lot of these eggs have already pipped. So pip means that the little guy with his little egg tooth stuck on his nose will slice the egg. They release an enzyme, which makes the uh, egg uh, easier to slice. And then you get a little snake like that. Can you see that? I can. Hello. The world sucks. Stay in there. We'll see. So what, what actually happens is the animal's demands for oxygen exceed what the ox oxygen uh, carrying capacity of the eggs is, which means the egg is permeable, oxygen and uh, atmospheric gas exchanges occur through the egg through osmosis and, and whatnot. And the little guy in here can just suffocate and die. And okay, so we actually have a dead snake. Let's go do something. What are we doing? We're going to recycle it. You want to eat that? You might be full. Let's see. I think a king can live to this age in the wild. Any chance of that? Well, with human... We can always go to take it right downstairs and feed it off. All right, big boy. You. I have to go feed it to the, 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 the feeding monster. Oh my god, you're too well fed too. Here. Come here. Oh, you stir? He's like, I don't eat things like that. They're like, I am fed of that, accustomed to this. They're like, just too sweet. Look at that, he just wants pets. Okay, now we're, we're going down the list to alligator snapper. Here he comes. Yeah, make it look natural, Kevin. No. <laughs> no. Can you get down low? This angle over here? Alligator snapper eating a stillborn baby pie retic. So everybody, yeah, we did a video on uh, parasites, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking about doing a little bit more. Like this is exactly this is what we're going to do. Here's an identification of some parasites, some of the eggs, protozoa treatment. So parasitic uh, management and some of the basic wormers that you can actually get over the counter. You can go to your uh, tractor supply or whatever, your grain and feed place for a lot of livestock. Those wormers are the same wormers that uh, we generally use to treat some of those target species. But uh, I think I'd do a little bit, something a little bit less play, a little bit more like, hey, this is whatever. And more stuff on that mite. Remember the mite thing that I couldn't kill? Yeah, you and them. why are mites so dangerous? I gotta turn my camera on, dude.
You didn't turn your camera on.